Hi guys, welcome to Faisi's Home Kitchen and today we are making braised lamb neck ragu to go with fusuli pasta and rocket leaves. Here are the ingredients that we will be using today. 2 kg lamb neck, 1.2 kg tomato diced, 200 gram onion sliced, 80 grams peeled garlic and sliced, three bay leaves and peppercorns, 60 ml olive oil, 40 grams of sugar, 80 ml white vinegar, one liter water, 500 grams fusilli pasta, 60 gram washed rocket leaves, 80 grams of shredded parmesan, 100 gram pan flour, cracked pepper black, salt for seasoning. And let's start the cooking process now. I have my uh, saucepan heated up. I'm going to add my olive oil in there. Then the whole pepper and the bay leaves. Adding the sliced garlic. Just give it a stir while it's cooking and adding the sliced onion. Just cook the onion for about four minutes. When the onion is sweat well, I'm going to add my vinegar. Just let it reduce a little bit. Now adding the sugar. Cooking for about one to two minutes. Let the sugar melt. Now I'm going to add my diced tomatoes. And the one liter water. Let the sauce come to a boil and, and let it reduce. Also, I'm going to add a couple of spoons of salt to season and one teaspoon of cracked pepper. Just give it a stir. Now, I got my plain flour here in a tray. I'm going to add some seasoning there. Two teaspoons of salt and one teaspoon of cracked pepper. Just give it a mix a little bit. You also need some extra oil for sealing the lamb neck. I'm going to start my pan here. I got the pan heated up in high heat, adding some cooking oil in there. And I'm going to coat my lamb neck in the flour so that will give you a nice nutty flavor and also thicken the sauce a little bit. And I'm going to place it in the saucepan now, which is hot. And I'm going to do the same for all the lamb necks. Just cook two minutes on each side, turning the lamb neck. So if you want, you can just have a look, holding it, turning around. It's getting sealed up. You can slowly rotate with a tongue. Just have a look and turn each and every piece so they're nice and sealed around the lamb neck. Just give a nice stir to the, the tomato sauce. Just here I have a deep baking tray. I'm going to brace my lamb necks in there. Once all the sides are sealed, I'm just going to move the lamb next into the tray here. My sauce is almost done. I think it's reduced enough because while we are braising with the lamb neck for two, three hours, it's going to reduce as well. I got my oven ready, heated up at 180 degrees 
to cook for about two and a half to three hours. I got my sauce ready now. I'm going to pour that into the bracing dish. Just everything fully covered. I picked some rosemary from my front garden. And then we're going to put a couple of pieces in there just to give nice flavor. Lamb and rosemary goes well all the time. This is optional. You can put any herbs that you have in your garden. Rosemary, basil, thyme, oregano. So before I put this in, in the oven to braise, I'm going to cover this with a baking sheet and then clean wrap. Clean wrap will help you to steam a lot and to cook inside slowly. So it won't let the steam go out. And then finally foil wrap, double folded. And then we're going to wrap it around. And into the oven for at least two and a half to three hours at 180 degrees Celsius. This is my pasta boiler. You can take the lid out. Water is boiling at the moment. And we're going to add a couple of teaspoons of salt in there. Then add the pasuli pasta. Give it a nice stir. Make sure the pasta is cooked at least for 16 to 18 minutes. The pasta is almost cooked. I'm going to turn off my stove top now. Straining my pasta into the sink, into a colander. A sprinkled bit of olive oil. Just give it a small toss. It's been almost two and a half hours now. We're going to check our braised lamb neck. Taking it out from the oven. I'm just going to open one side. You can see it is beautifully cooked and it's falling apart. At this stage, I stop cooking. So usually, um, almost all the lamb has a lot of fat. So just going to bring it to a corner and skim the fat out. Just repeat the action until you are happy and taken out 80%, 90% of the fat. As you can see now, it's a nice braised lamb ragu. And also, we're going to take apart all the meat out and then mix it with the sauce. We're just going to scoop up all the lamb necks into another tray. Cool it down uh, for about 10 minutes. And then you should be able to take all the meat out from the lamb neck. And then you mix it with the same rogu again. You can just have a little bit of taste of the rogu at the moment. Maybe a bit more cracked pepper. Salt is perfectly good. Just going to add a little bit of pepper into there. Give it a mix. Also, you might be able to take out the bay leaves at the stitch, which we don't need them in our pasta. Yeah, I'm just going to break up all the meat bits into the sauce, much as you can take. Just going to bring back my uh, braised lamb ragu to boil again into another saucepan and then bring it to boil and then add the pasta. Now I got the warm fisuli here and then we're going to put it into the braised lamb rogu. Just give it a nice stir. Let it cook for about two minutes. I'm going to add my rocket at this stage. And maybe a little bit of parmesan. You can drizzle a little bit of olive oil. As soon as the rocket leaves wilt, you can turn off the heat and then you can serve it into pasta balls, whichever you like. So we got our pasta ball here. We're going to serve about three, four ladles.
Now the final touch, it's going to leave a couple of rocket leaves on top and a bit of parmesan around. Just going to take a little bit, have a taste. This is a fantastic braised lamb dish, beautifully cooked. Definitely it will feed a family of six. Please like and subscribe if you found this video useful and we will see you in another video next week.